guys welcome back to my channel so this week we are going to be doing what we're having for dinner quarantine meals <laughs> um it is actually tuesday so i'm not starting out the week on a monday so we'll go tuesday to tuesday um tonight we are going to have lazy big ziti so here's what you're gonna need ricotta cheese Italian seasoning, a small onion, a box of penne or ziti, whatever you have, charred sauce, olive oil, parsley, and garlic. And then you'll need a big pan, obviously a pot to make your pasta, and then a small saucepan for the onions. I'm not using any meat tonight because I am trying to conserve what meals I make with meat because we don't have that much in the house and I don't really want to go to the store. And also, um, that's it. <laughs> I Not that I don't, actually, that wasn't it. I don't want to go to the store and the stores don't have that much meat there anyway. So it would really just be a waste of time going. So that's the plan. <laughs> So on Wednesday, we had pork chops with some ranch seasoning on it, along with french fries, frozen broccoli, and gravy for dinner. You'll see in the rest of this video that I've really been craving all kinds of potatoes. So I tried to make like disco fries out of the french fries because we didn't have any potatoes that were good. So I just put some cheese and some gravy on it. And we had applesauce because you can't have pork chops without applesauce. So tonight we are having beef enchiladas for dinner. Um, I was hoping that I was gonna have black beans and I don't, so I can't put black beans in it. And I also forgot to take the other, um, like, package of wraps out of the fridge. So I'm off to a really great start. But I just browned the ground beef. And since I don't have anything else, I'm putting some onions in to cook a little bit and then I'll put the meat back in with a package of taco seasoning. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, I am not a cook. <laughs> I am not a, I'm not a cook. So I just wing it. Usually this comes out pretty good. This is one of my favorite meals and I'm pretty sure it's, is this one of Rob's? I know this is like a good one that he likes. And then I'm also going to make some white rice in the Instant Pot since there's no beans in this. Um, that's what we're doing. I put the wraps in here to defrost a little bit and I just like turn the oven on. So, whoops, I wasn't even showing you, sorry. They're still pretty frozen. I don't know if I should like do this on, uh, pan or putting it on the racks is good but I guess I'll just turn it down I just like turned it on and you know how it goes right to 350 that's what it did um, okay the lowest we can go is 170 so that's good so that's what's happening I will show you guys well actually okay so I just told you what we're doing with that and then I have a can of red enchilada sauce that's not gonna focus. And I mix, it, whether you have beans or onions or whatever you have, you mix all that together, put a little bit of Mexican cheese in it, and then you spread a little bit of the red sauce on the bottom. And after that, you take your wraps. I cut them in half usually to like make them make a little bit more. And um, you fill it, you wrap it, you lay it down in the pan, pour the rest of the red sauce over it with cheese, cover, and bake at like 375 for like 20 minutes or so. Everything's pretty much already cooked. It's just like heat it all through and get it like really bubbly. So I'll show you what it's done.
dinner, I made something in the crock pot. It had chicken, onions, carrots, and one of the Campbell's sauce mixes that you're really supposed to like put in the oven, but I thought it might be good in the crock pot. And it was just all right. So this one was actually a Sunday night's dinner. Um, I'm going to show you here in a second. On Saturday night, we had pizza for dinner because at this point I was just over cooking as you could tell from the crappy dinner from the night before but pizza is one of my favorites and who doesn't love pizza so that's what we had the night before hey guys so today is monday and tonight we are having shepherd's pie i have corn carrots and onions here um rob doesn't like vegetables at all he really doesn't even like cooked carrots but i had to have more than just corn and onions in here um so i just chopped up a bunch of one onion a bunch of baby carrots and then like half a can of corn and then back here i have three potatoes boiling i have beef broth coming to here because i don't have cans of broth because the stores didn't have any so I just have like the bouillon cubes or whatever and I do it like that and then also I browned the ground beef before so that's ready to go in and then I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce to that then I'll make the mashed potatoes when they're done cooking and then I'll put it together and I'll show you what it looks like See, this is what I'm talking about, that my smoke alarm goes off. Okay, anyway, um, I had the broiler on to like toast the top of the potatoes. So that's why that went off. But this looks so good. I meant to um, like record putting it together, but I didn't because my hair is a mess and it will be and it is for this whole video so whatever we're just surviving here right everyone's just surviving uh lily had like a call with her school for one of the things like their morning programs that she does so she was on that mia needed something people were trying to call me it was like there were so many things going on that i was just like pretty much throwing everything in the pot together. But anyway, this looks delicious. This is Monday night's dinner. And I didn't say, well, I probably did a voiceover for Sunday's dinner and then Saturday's dinner, because that was pizza. But I just want to thank Rob, my husband, who's watching this, I'm sure, for putting up with my potato craving because we've had potatoes with just about everything recently. And I can't stop talking about how I want potatoes. So here's another potato meal. <laughs> Hi guys. So today for dinner, I am making mac and cheese in the Instant Pot. And I don't know if I had said this in this video or another video, but I'm trying to like conserve what like meat proteins we use because a lot of uh, places are out of meat where they don't have like a big selection or they have it super duper marked up. So that's what I'm doing tonight for dinner. This recipe is so easy. I found it on somebody's Instagram that I follow and you just need four cups of chicken broth, a box of, she says to use elbow noodles, but I don't have that. So, I'm going to use rotini noodles because that's what I have. And I also don't have chicken broth, so I'm putting water and two, let's see, two of these bouillon cubes in it. Oh, my battery's flashing. So I'm going to do that, add the box of pasta, and then add salt, pepper, two tablespoons of butter and then you cook it for four minutes do a quick release and then add two cups of whoops cheddar cheese and two cups of mozzarella cheese 
and that's it. So I'll show you when we get to that point because my camera's about to turn off. So I just did a quick release on the pasta. And that's what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna turn it off, not so it's on, because it'll, so it'll stay on like a, a keep warm setting. And I'm going to scoop out some of this because the girls don't want mac and cheese, they want pasta. So I'm going to scoop out some of that. Okay. And I have half a cup of milk to go in. Cheddar cheese. Mozzarella cheese. That was, um, I had peas going in the microwave for them and I'm just gonna stir this. I'll add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. You can basically just do what you want with it. At this point, I thought this morning about like breaking up some breadcrumbs, not breadcrumbs. Oh, I could use breadcrumbs or like, um, what are they called, Ritz crackers, and like putting it in a casserole dish and like baking it to make it like crispy on top. Whoa. But clearly I didn't do that. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. Here's what it looks like. And this is so good. It's so easy and it's so good. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And that's it guys, let me close this. So you're not looking at my messy spice cabinet. That is the end of this week's dinners, and I looked like a hot mess every single day. But you know what? We're all in this together right now. Everybody's home. Nobody's doing anything. If you're getting dressed every day, more power to you. Clearly, I'm not. <laughs> and that's just how it is. If I didn't mention it before, I'm pregnant, 18 and a half weeks right now, like when I'm filming this last day. And I have two kids, one's seven, one's three, and I'm just surviving. My husband is still working. I'm not working at the moment. I went from working nearly full time to not working at all. And it's been a big adjustment for everybody. So at this point, we're just surviving. And that's all you can do until this is over. You just have to ride it out, take it one day at a time, and that's all. And that's your pep talk for this cooking video. But anyway, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not a chef by any means. I am not a good cook. I'm still learning. So take everything I said with a grain of salt and I'll see you guys.